everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. At the start of the year, I made a video sitting right here <laughs> called something like the book series I need to finish in 2020. And I said I would come back and I would react to it. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go back and watch that video and see how many of those book series I have finished. I really have a bad feeling about this. I know we've got a couple weeks of 2020 left, but I don't think I'm gonna finish any more series this year. Like I, I'm thinking about the books that I'm set to read this year. I don't think any of them finish series and I also can't think of many series I do have to finish. So like I'm quietly confident about this but I know it's probably gonna go terribly. Like I know I'm probably gonna lose. This is a competition with myself. Before we get into it make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell button. That would make me so happy. So when did I make this video? Hang on I need to connect my earphones. This was posted February 13th. Let's start. <laughs> Spoiler alert, people die. <laughs> oh, but I'm like, oh, it's lighthearted. Not gonna talk about a book series yet, but it's already not start off great. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you as always for being here. Uh, today, we're gonna be. Oh, okay. First things first, I was like way too nice. I feel like in all of my earlier videos, I was always too nice. I feel like in the past couple months, I've been able to show even more of me and like sarcasm and stuff. I just feel like in these earlier videos, I'm a bit more softly spoken and now I'm just like, Aah! you know? This is a video I hope to come back to at the end of the year and see if I've managed to finish all of these series. There is quite a lot here. <laughs> so hopefully I will be able to get through all of these. So the first series, which I definitely want to complete in 2020 is the Diviner series by Libby Day. <laughs> I own books one to three of this already. I have them all down here somewhere. And uh, book four is just about to come out when I'm filming this. It's not out yet. I liked this quite a bit. I gave it four stars, the first book in the series. But I've heard a lot of people say that it improves as it goes along. Okay, we're just gonna stop that there for a second. So I have read the first three in the series this year. Like I, I have at least done that. I had read The Diviners at the time of this video. I gave this four stars. I gave Lair of Dreams, I think like a 4.5 or 4.75. It was very close to being a five. And then I gave Before the Devil Breaks You, I think like a 2.5. Or was that just me being harsh? Maybe it was a three. The Before the Double Breaks You was just such a disappointment for me because Lair of Dreams had been so good. I feel like the series lost a lot of what made it so good in this one. A lot of the characters just went on weird tangents. A lot of the characters we'd become really attached to in books like Lair of Dreams left. Like they just weren't, they were still there, but they just weren't important, notable. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Trash. The story was all over the place. It was just not good, in my opinion. And I've heard from a lot of people, particularly I watched a vlog from Nicole the other day, and she gave it like one star, King of Crows, the last book in the series. I don't own that. So like technically I have read all of the series that I own. I do want to get King of Crows very, very soon, just so I can tick this series off. Because, you know, like I've said, I do love finishing series. Like I find such pleasure and such joy in finally being done with series. I am a bit nervous for it because I have heard a lot of bad things. Like I think it's people's least favorite in the series. Even people who love all of the books up until then don't really love King of Crows. So I am just gonna kind of be reading it to finish the series. I don't have super high hopes. So that's a no, that is a failure first out the bat. But I have at least read three and I've only got one left. That's not like terrible, but let's be honest, it's not great either that the first series that I wanted to finish, I haven't. <laughs> like I have read 130 books this year. How have I not made time to just finish that series? It bo the mind boggles, I do not understand. So do you think I deserve better than that? Yes. The next series is one that I have been so excited to get through for so long, and that is the Girls of Paper and Fire series by Natasha Nyang. This is obviously the first in the series. Okay. And I already own the second. Okay, so let's just pause that there. Give me a second. I have read both Girls of Paper and Fire and Girls of Storm and Shadow this year. Book three still hasn't come out. I think originally it was due for November, but um, it has been pushed back. I'm not sure to when, actually. When does it come out now? Oh my God, what? It's now saying November 2021. I didn't think I had that long to wait. And I really scratched my head and I wonder, where's God when you need him? I'm gonna give myself the point for this because I have read all that is out currently. Like I couldn't win this because the third one isn't out until 
end of next year. So I'm giving myself the point. This was five stars. One of my favourite fantasy books. Like I think the world in this is so incredibly magical. I think the girls, the relationship between these paper girls who are forced to sleep with the king, the way that grief and trauma is manifested in each of them in different ways. I think it's absolutely brilliant. This is sapphic as well. If you're wanting a bit of female female romance, this would be like my top recommendation. I have read Girls of Storm and Shadow. It was one of the earliest books I think I read this year. I think I read it in either January or February. Oh my god, every time I see Siri, Siri thinks I'm talking to it! I'm not! I didn't love this as much. I think it's the general consensus is that this isn't as good. It's very much a travel book. I think I heard that Natasha Yang originally wanted this to be a duology and it was changed to a trilogy and you can definitely feel that. There was just some pacing issues in this book and I think it could have afforded to be sh shorter or different things could have happened because it's very much just traveling from one place to another. However, I still love these characters. They are still some of my favorite characters ever. Lei is just like one of my favorite characters to read from her perspective. So I'm very excited for the third one to come out next year, at the end of next year, but I'm giving myself a point because I have read all that I could have done. And I just like love them together. Aren't they amazing? I need to take, I still need to take the Barnes and Noble sticker off of it. But I yeah, still need to take the Barnes and Noble sticker off of it. <laughs> the next series I want to get to is the True Devious series by Maureen Johnson. These I believe are all out now or the third one is going to come out soon. And it's just a bit of lighthearted mystery. Okay, well, okay, well, hmm. I have read the first two in this series. They are just these super fun murder mystery books. I do really like these. I think they're both kind of like a four star. It's set at this boarding school that is known for excellence. It keeps jumping back and forth between a mystery in the present day and a mystery kind of like, I think in the 1940s maybe, when the school was originally set up. The third one did come out last year, I think at the end of last year, but I wanted to wait till it came out in paperback and it didn't come out in paperback to the end of this year because I wanted them all to be like paperbacks matching. People call me over the top but lately I prefer being a bottom. I think it came out in like November and since then I've been on a book buying ban. I will read it almost as soon as I get it. Like as soon as I buy it I will read it. It's just that kind of book. This series are just so easy to pick up and to read and to enjoy. They're really something that's great when you're we're going to pretend. We didn't see that. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. So I am excited to read the last one. I just couldn't justify buying it. I was on a book buying ban once it came out in paperback and I've got so many books that I don't need it, but I do definitely want to get it. I just haven't had a lot of time in terms of waiting for the paperback to come out. It only came out a couple months ago in paperback, so I haven't had much time to buy it and read it. So it will happen, but that is yet another failure. So... It's not going well. Okay, the next series I really want to get to is the Renegades series by Marissa Meyer. I I'm holding the second book in the series up because I prefer it in terms of the cover to the first one because I have the paper ink paper for the first one. <laughs> I haven't finished it. <laughs> so I do just need to finish this series. Oh my god. The issue with this is again is an issue of buying it. I want the hardback, right? I want the hardback so it matches this because I hate this. And the thing is that the paperback doesn't even match this anymore. But the only place that I can buy the hardback is Blackwell's, which is like a bookshop in the UK. And like it's only $13.99. Like I should just do it. But I find it really difficult to buy books. Like I know probably if you see like regular book hauls on my channel, you're like, she buys books all the time. But I actually don't. Like I, I only really buy them nowadays for videos or on a spur of the moment trip to Waterstones. The majority of those book hauls are very luckily books I've been sent. I'm very blessed that you guys send me books very often or I'm sent books in book box subscriptions or stuff like that and so I don't actually buy that many books. I should probably just do it, in fact I might even just do it after this video because it's only $13.99 and I know I should just do it. So this is all about superheroes and basically in this world you have like the good guys and the bad bad guys and our protagonist Nova she was raised by the bad guys her uncle was like the ultimate bad guy oh we're all like a bad boy though don't we yeah not a fucking terrorist though Chris 
She infiltrates the renegades, which are the good guys, to like know more about them. She takes on this alternative identity with them. But then she kind of like starts to like fall for one of the guys there. And like it's this whole thing. And she starts to make friends. And it, it was an enjoyable series. I remember I hurt, <laughs> I remember I hurt my foot at a step class. I hope you all like you all know what step is, right? When you're like at the gym and it's it's something like old ladies do, but like I was there doing it. Up, up, down, down. Good job. And I, I fell off the step and I hurt my ankle. So I was just like on the sofa all day and I literally read this book in that whole day. And it was at a time that was very rare for me to like read books in a day. Like I never did that. Obviously I do it now more for like vlogs and stuff, but I had never really done that before. So these books read so fast and I do want to read Supernova. Like Supernova was on my Christmas list last year and I had a very like, I think I only had like six books eight books on my Christmas list last year. And I think Supernova was the only one I didn't get. So I have wanted it for a long time, but again, it's just not been something that I have bought. So yeah, this is another, eh -eh. it's another no. I haven't finished it. I don't really have an excuse. I should have just got Supernova and read it, but I haven't. Oh, this isn't going as well as I thought it was going. The next series I want to complete or at least get up to date with because I don't know how many there are going to be in the series. I think it's going to be quite a long one in the end, but it is Heartstopper by Alex <gasps> Oseman. I have just read this book in the video which I put out. Yay! Okay, so they're right here, as you can see, with all my graphic novels. This is the book series that got me into graphic novels. I have read volume one, two, and three. I love it. It is the best graphic novel series known to man. It is beautiful. It is lovely. It is heartwarming. Oh! He fills my heart with warmth. This is the story of Nick and Charlie meeting falling in love. It's the story of them getting to know each other. It's the story of them going on a school trip together and being in love. And I just love them so much. It is just this beautiful story of these two boys falling for each other and becoming best friends and becoming each other's like partner through everything and helping each other. And it's about being young in the UK. It captures that so well. I think there's only going to be five volumes, which is really, really sad. So I have read as much as as I can. The current trend is that obviously I seem to be posting off last books in series. All of the ones I've failed at so far are because I haven't read the last book. Like that's something that's so frustrating is that it's so easy for me to finish them because I've only got to read one more book for each of them but I just keep putting off that last book and not buying that last book. That must say something about my psychology. So the only two that I have like finished are the ones that haven't finished. Like the series that haven't ended. These I love them so much I will always like read them as soon as they come out they're absolutely incredible so I love them very much so that's a win woohoo <laughs> the next series I want to complete by 2020 end of 2020 is Shadow and Bone trilogy <gasps> by Lee Bardugo I enjoyed this oh! I gave it three stars I didn't love it okay so I have read this entire series I've read Shadow and Bone Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising I didn't really like these I think I gave it three stars 2.752 Maybe? Yeah, it wasn't really it, let's be honest. It's not for main part. This is the story of Alina, who is like a sun summoner, so she can like summon light. She's like a human torch. <laughs> and it's the story of like war and the Darkling, who is this very powerful man, and Mal, who is Alina's like kind of boyfriend, and he's like, not it. Oh my God, I just can't stop my eyes rolling when I think of Mal. <laughs> I'm glad I read it because now I can get on to Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I still haven't read them. I read this series for the sole purpose of like feeling like I read this before I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. You don't have to, but a lot of people said it helped with the world building. But like I've left it so long now that I think it didn't even really matter. Like I think I didn't even need to do that. I think I'm going to be reading Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom sometime early next year. I've been meaning to do a video reading them because I'm going to do a soul video for them. I've been meaning to do it for months. It just kept being pushed back. I'm very excited for the Netflix series. Ben Barnes could like, I think he should just play every character in the history of the world. I I love him. I adore him. I'm just happy that I've read a book series. Why have I finished this and not 
Supernova or King of Crows. Like, why did I do that? Why did I actually read the one I was enjoying the least? I think I just wanted to get it out of the way and get it done. But why did I do that to myself, genuinely? For me, the real reason that I want to get through this series is so I can then get through Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I cannot wait to get to these. I've obviously heard such amazing things about them. I'm really hoping I'm able to read all four books that enable me to finish these by the end of the year. Well, you didn't! Oh, okay, well, we've got to count that as a series. I have not read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Why would I put that on there when I hadn't only read Shadow and Bone? Why would I do that to myself? Oh my god! No, I haven't read them. They're over there. I'm not even going to pick them up. Like, I'm not... I can't even look at them. Like, I, I can't, I can't even look at them. I haven't read them. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Okay, I'm sorry, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I didn't read you. I will soon. I've wanted to read them, like, the whole year. I just haven't got around to making that video. Oh. <laughs> okay, what's next? So the next series that I want to complete is Stalking Jack the Ripper oh, fuck by Chris Maniscalco, this series. Fuck I oh. in there. So again- Oh my god! Okay, I'm not even listening to myself speak about it. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. I read the first one. I gave it three stars. I don't even own the second one. I haven't even got close to finishing this series. Because I think- I think it hasn't been a priority just because I didn't love this. But I was in the mood for this series in October and November. I would have read it had I owned the second one. But I just didn't. And like I said, I was trying not to buy books. This is a book about Audrey Rose, right? And then Jack the Ripper starts killing women. And she wants to figure out who it is. I do want to continue on with this series. I do want to finish it. Hopefully, why am I saying this? Hopefully I will finish it next year. Like, I, if I were to buy the books, I'd read them. It's just a matter of like, I don't own them, so I can't. <laughs> and then the last series I hope to finish this year, I think I will definitely finish this, and that is The Illuminate Files by Amy <gasps> Kaufman and Jay Okay. I <laughs> love this. This is my first book of the and I gave it a five out of five. Incredible. I have finished the Illuminae Files. I have read all three. I read them right at the start of the year. Like, this is all five stars. I adore this series. I love it so much. This is a story of essentially, like, this big war between corporations. That's a very boring way to describe it. Each book focuses on kind of like two teenagers roughly three two or three teenagers that are somehow playing a role in this war this is all files from the illuminate group so it is chat logs it is emails it is video surveillance it is text from the ai and so it is just told in this really unique way especially especially at the end of the books like there's all these it gets really cool i loved this series i really want to reread it it's one of my favorite series of all time all of my family have finished this series in this time like i'm pretty sure i think my mum and my dad have both read all of the series and i just adored it so much it is amazing so i would really recommend you go and pick this up if you haven't already so the final <laughs> god this is laughable hey flop girl you have done it again constant lowering the bar for us all the final count for have I finished the book series I was supposed to finish this year? I finished four. I haven't finished, how many is that? Is that five? Haven't finished five. Well done me. <laughs> that is so terrible. Yeah, he's terrible, your honor. He's really terrible. Oh no. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh well, we just have to live with it. Like I said, a lot of them, I'm only like one book away from finishing it. So I should be able to finish quite a few of these series next year, maybe early on next year. Maybe I could push myself to finish these. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog saying like finishing series some point at the start of next year. Let me know if that's something you would like to watch. If you have gotten to the end, is there a laptop emoji? If there's not, maybe one of the cameras. I don't know. Laptop or camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you very, very soon with another one. And until then, I hope you keep well. Okay, bye!